Hello everyone, I'm Jess with Black Travelers Network. We provide trips that focus on the Black experience in different parts of the world, but we also cover news that impacts the African diaspora. Before we get into today's topic, I just want to say that our latest publication, Out of Service, is available on the website. This is a 26-page publication of simple money-making business ideas you can offer in this environment. We also have the online workshop, How to Make Money in the COVID Era. Again, you can find these on blacktravelersnetwork.com in our online store. This story is definitely worth talking about. It actually happened at the beginning of 2020, but everyone has been so focused on the global pandemic that the story was sidelined and didn't receive much attention. But we are going to talk about it. As many of you know, the 2020 Summer Olympics in Tokyo has been moved to the summer of 2021. Before the Summer Olympics was moved, Nike released its Olympic kit that revealed the designs it created for the Summer Olympic Games in Tokyo. The controversy arose when the Kenyan uniforms were revealed. It was less than impressive. Take a look. When you see the Kenyan track and field uniform, what comes to mind? I don't know about you, but I think of Honeycombs. It looks like the Nike designer was inspired by honeycombs. You know, Kenya is a country that is home to 42 different ethnic groups. One of the most famous tribes in the country is the Maasai. If you don't know of any other tribe in Kenya, you have heard of the Maasai. The Maasai are known as the warriors. These brothers and sisters are also known to go toe to toe with a lion and they have no fear. How do you go from Kenyan warrior to Kenyan beekeeper? I don't really know, because that's what this Olympic uniform gives us. And when you get a closer look at the design of the honeycombs on the uniform, it looks a lot like a design straight out of the Minecraft video game. Again, this does not give me Kenyan warriors that are about to go to the Olympics and clean up on the track and field medals like they normally do. It looks like they just threw the Kenyan flag colors over top of some honeycombs. This uniform is a fail and Nike, you have offended these good people. Kenya immediately launched a petition asking for a new uniform design and within less than a week, they had over 15,000 signatures. The petition said, Kenya is the most successful country in history in long distance running. Kenya was ranked second in the track and field medal hall at the Rio 2016 Olympics, only outranked by the United States. We must have our athletes as they proudly stand at the podium to receive their medals, dressed in the most beautiful patriotic uniform befitting of our royal status in the world athletic stage. They also requested the designer who designed Nigeria's uniform. Take a look at Nigeria's Summer Olympic uniform. It's pretty slick. For those of you thinking it's no big deal, it actually is a big deal. An athlete's uniform is connected to their confidence. Remember when you were in school and you would go to the games? I don't know about you, but before the athletes even took the field, we would always look at the uniforms. And if the uniforms were whack, that was a green light to diss the other team. And many times, teams with ugly uniforms played like their uniforms were ugly. The other thing that most people don't know when it comes to fashion in the country of Kenya is secondhand clothing in East Africa in particular is a big market. Some places like the Salvation Army, Goodwill, and other stores would actually ship much of the used clothing that many of you donate overseas. There's a video from two years ago and you can see the link at the top of the screen where I talk about this topic. Recently, Kenya banned the importation of secondhand clothing. 
These shipments of secondhand clothing largely come from the United States and parts of Europe. The country did this because they really want to take some time to develop their textile industry and support local Kenyan clothing designers and the Kenyan fashion industry as a whole, as that industry can be connected to lots of jobs and income throughout the country. I want to point that out because this is not a trivial issue. Fashion is important to the country of Kenya and there is a direct correlation between the uniforms and the athlete's performance, as well as the country. I also want to take a moment to quickly highlight a company by the name of Five Stars Africa. Five Stars Africa is an African-inspired sports brand, a brand that captures the authenticity, creativity, and beauty of the African continent. It looks like Five Stars Africa is based out of Nairobi, Kenya, and offers some really nice athletic gear that has many people saying that they should have designed Kenya's Olympic uniform. So take a moment to leave a comment and let us know what you think. Do you like Kenya's Summer Olympic Nike uniforms or are you not feeling it? Drop your comments below and let us know what you think.